Hello students, welcome back to the second video of this playlist. In this video, uh, we will be solving question number 2 from the most recent past paper of Statistics 2, which is the October 2024 S2 paper. So before we start, I would like to tell you something. So uh, since the mark scheme of this uh, paper is not yet released, so definitely it's not possible for me to uh, what uh, check whether my workings are correct or not. But yeah, definitely after the upload, after uh, solving the whole paper, definitely I will I will check it repeatedly whether I have done mistakes or not. So every update of the solution will be given in the comment box of this video or for each of the questions wherever like uh, for each of the questions for each of the videos. I will give the update of any mistakes or any uh, um, like uh, any problems okay in the comment box so keep an eye on the comment box when you are watching the videos to get updated about the video okay so yeah and also if you have if you find if you find any mistakes or any problem or if you find anything that you might think that I have done mistake then feel free to write it down below in the comment box of that video I'll definitely be there to reply you okay so let's get started with the second question from the October 2024 S2 paper okay so the question number two says a multiple choice test consists of 25 questions each having five responses only one of which is correct okay each correct answer gains four marks but each incorrect answer loses one mark okay sam answers all 25 questions by choosing at random at random one response for each question okay fine so let x be the number let x be the number of correct answers that sam achieves fine so part a is asking here to state the distribution of x so we just need to state the distribution of x okay let's see if you uh, if you consider the question look it says what 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 is x at first consider that be the number x be the number of correct answers that sam achieves the number of correct answers okay so the number of correct answer it has what it will be either correct or incorrect right it would be either correct or incorrect so how many outcomes possible outcomes two possible outcomes either correct or incorrect and the what the answers these are what discrete these are basically independently happening and randomly happening right and and these answers are chosen randomly so that means this distribution of x it is following what binomial distribution isn't it so for binomial distribution we need what either two two possible what outcomes either either win or lose right so here either correct or incorrect and we need a fixed sample isn't it so here the fixed sample is how much how many 25 questions so 25 is the fixed fixed sample and this is n and we need probability of answering the correct what answer right answering the correct answer so this is what uh, how many options are there five responses right so out of five he has to answer what one correctly right one of the answer is correct out of the five right so this p the value for p that is the probability of getting correct answer this is what one over five one out of five right so we got the distribution this is what x it's what distributed binomially with 25 out of 25 he is getting what 25 is the fixed what you can say uh, the sample okay and probability of getting correct answer this is what one out of five that's it that's what 
part A of question number 2 has asked for. Fine. Okay. Next is part B. In part B, okay, first part B1, let M be the number of marks that Sam achieves. Okay. M is the number of marks that Sam achieves. Okay. So, for, for each answer gains 4 marks. For correct answer, it gains, what, 4 marks. And for incorrect answer, it, uh, Sam loses 1 mark. Okay. So, part 1 is asking to state the distribution of M in terms of X. Okay. In terms of X, we need to state the distribution of what? In terms of X, we need to state the distribution of M. So, M is the number of marks, right? And X is what? The number of correct answers. Okay. So, how can we write this? Look, for part B1, M equals to what? The total marks gained, right? The number of marks that Sam achieves. So, X is the number of correct answers. So, for each correct answer, Sam gains 4 marks. So, that would be what? 4X is the marks gained for correct answers. And then, one mark will be lost for each, what, incorrect answer. So, that would be what, negative 1 times how much? 1 times, if x, if x number of answers are correct, then total is 25. So, 25 minus x is incorrect. So, 25 minus x. Okay? So, what we can write? m equals to what? 4x minus 25 plus x. So, m is equals to what? Uh, 5x minus what? 5x minus 25. Right? 5x minus 25. That is the distribution of m in terms of x. Fine. Okay. Next is part B2. So, hence, show clearly that the number of marks that Sam is expected, what Sam is expected to achieve is what? Zero. That means the number of marks is what? M. So, we need to find out the expectation of what? M in part B2. Okay. So, expectation of M, it is what? what? Expectation of 5x, just substitute the equation for M that we found just in part 1. Okay. So, 5 times expectation of what? X, right? Minus 25. Okay? So, expectation of X is how much? NP. Binomial distribution, so NP. NP, so 25 times what? 1 over 5 minus 25. Okay? So, what you will get? This is uh, 5 times 25 times 5 is 1 over 5, this is 5. So, 5 times 5 is what? 25 minus 25. So, you will get 0. So, expected marks of achieved, achieved uh, by Sam, it's what? 0. And that's what part B2 has asked to show. Fine. Okay. Next is part C. In part C, the question says, in order to pass the test, at least at least 30 marks are required. Okay. So, to pass the test, M should be what? Greater than or equal 30. The marks should be greater than or equal 30. Okay. So, part C is asking to find the probability that Sam will pass the test. So, we need to find out the probability that Sam scores at least 30 marks. Isn't it? So, this is what for part C probability of m greater than or equal 30 okay so we don't know the what distribution of m like uh, its parameters isn't it so we have to represent m in terms of x because the parameters of x are known to us isn't it so this is what uh, we got the equation for m this is 5x minus 25 this is what 5x minus 25 should be greater than or equal what 30 okay so, probability of 5x greater than or equal, what, 55, okay? So, uh, probability of x greater than or equal, what, 11, okay? So, pro probability of x greater than or equal can be written, written as what? We need cumulative probability. So, let's represent it in the form of 
x less than or equal something okay because the cumulative probability table that is given in the formula booklet okay it's for prob probability of x less than or equal x okay so that's why we need to represent it in the in that form in order to use the distribution table so probability of x less than or equal what 11 is included within that right so we need to consider since it is discrete we need to consider less than or equal what 1 less than 11 which is 10 because 11 is included in the upper upper uh, probability that is x greater than or equal 11 so uh, use the table we have n for x at first consider n n is 25 and prob probability is 0 0.2 okay so n is 25 we have to go to the uh, table okay this is for normal distribution okay here you go n is 25 okay so for n 25 this is 20 here you go n is what 25 okay n is 25 and probability is 0 0.2 so this column we will consider so we need to have what x less than or equal 11 where is 11 sorry 10 this is basically 10 so it is 0 0.9944 right so that would be 0 0.9944 so 1 minus 0 0.9944 so that would give you 1 minus 0. Point, what uh, 0 0.9944 that would give you 0. 0.0 0 0.056 0 0.0056 okay so 1 minus 0 0.9944 we got 0 0.0056 and that's exactly the probability for what for sam to win to pass that test and that's the answer for part c fine okay next is part d in part D, the question says, past records show that when the test is done properly, the probability that a student answers the first question correctly is half, 0 0.5. Okay. A random sample of 50 students that did the test properly was taken. Okay. 50 students. The number, this is the size of the, what, sample. Okay. Given that, the probability that more than n but at most 30 students answered the first question correctly was 0 0.9328 to 4 decimal places. What, what's that probability? Let me repeat. The probability that more than n but at most 30 students answered the first question correctly was 0 0.9328 to 4 decimal places. So the question is find the value of what n the value of n we need to find out at first let's see what i have repeated there this is what if you represent it in the form of what probability expression we have to write it like this okay before writing that out at first consider the distribution uh we will consider the number of uh answers the number of students that did answer the first question correctly it is what y okay let's figure out the distribution okay so for part d we are considering y it's distributed it is what binomially with number of what students is 50 and probability of answering correctly this is what 0 0.5 so y it represents what number of students okay students who answered the first question correctly okay so this is what the variable y okay so they said uh, more than n but at most 30 so that is probability of y greater than n it's just greater than more than n at most 30 that means that means what less than or equal 30 this is equals 
what this is equals 0 0.9328 0 0.9328 okay so this is what they have said okay okay now we need to find out the value for n so how can we write it this is what probability of y less than or equal 30 minus probability of y less than or equal n this is equals 0 0.9328 now how did i write this they said y greater than n less than or equal 30 that means if you uh, subtract from the probability of y less than or equal 30 from that if you subtract the probability of y less than or equal n because e less than or equal n why because in this probability okay here n is not included right so to exclude n we have to subtract it from y less than or equal what 30 now we need to find out the probability of y less than or equal n so take it to the right side okay so you will get what uh, probability of y less than or equal 30 from that we need to subtract 0 0.9328 fine okay now let's get the what value for the probability of y less than or equal 30 using the distribution table okay so we need n 50 isn't it n 50 p is half right so n50 p is half there okay this is n40 okay n50 so n should be 50 and p is what half 0 0.5 where is 0 0.5 here you go okay so y less than or equal what 30 isn't it okay y less than or equal 30 this is basically this column this row so it goes to 0 0.9405 0 0.9405 yes 0 0.9405 okay so this is 0 0.9405 okay 0 0.9405 minus 0 0.9328 so probability of y less than or equal n this is equals what 0 0.9405 minus 0 0.9328 that would give you 0 0.0077 okay now what we will do to find out the value for n we know that the number of trials the number of uh, what uh, data in the sample it is what 50 right so now we will again we got the probability 0 0.0077 so we will again go to n equals to 50 okay n equals to what 50 so n equals to 50 probability this is what half and now we will look for 0 0.0077 and exactly we can see on the screen this is 0 0.0077 so this is for what probability of y less than or equal 16 right so we got that what n is what 16 right probability of y less than or equal 16 it is what 0 0.0077 so what we can write n equals 16 okay and that's what part c of question number two has asked for and that's the end of question number two from the october 2024 s2 paper fine